Yo, what up everyone? Today I'm going to show y'all how to do a custom resolution for your games and stuff, alright? So, in my last video, or like two videos ago, I showed you how to, uh, showed you what it looked like in Roblox or Counter Blocks. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it, right? Because a lot of you guys want a tutorial. So, yeah, I'll go do one for you right now. <laughs> right, so first off, we need, to, we need to figure out what graphics card you have. And in order to figure that one out, you go down to the bottom here to your taskbar, you right click it, and you select task manager, and it brings this menu up, alright? And then you go to performance, and then at the bottom, or wh wherever, you see GPU, right? And for me, I have two of them, but that's just because I have a dedicated graphics card, right? And that's a GTX 1070, but you may not have one, you might have an integrated graphics card. I do have that too, because that's part of your CPU most likely right so i have an intel uh integrated graphics and a uh, nvidia dedicated graphics now pick whatever one uh your you have wh whatever one you have plugged into your monitor all right so if you have your gpu if you have your monitor plugged into your graphics card use this we'll use the nvidia program if you have it plugged into your uh motherboard and it's using integrated graphics we'll use uh the integrated thing the intel program all right so i'll show you how to do that and if you have amd I, I can't I can't really show you I'll, I'll like try to help you guys but I don't have an AMD uh, <laughs> CPU or GPU but I'll try to help you out like the end of the video so yeah right so for for Nvidia graphics card if you have an Nvidia graphics card and you're using it what you're going to want to do is go to your uh, desktop I mean I guess this applies to all three but when you right click your desktop you'll see one of these you'll either see it say Nvidia Intel or AMD and you can click it click it right for me it's in nvidia because that's the one i'm using i think that's the easiest way to figure out which one you're using but you know <laughs> whatever in case it doesn't show up for you right if it doesn't show up for you i don't know what, i don't know what to do i guess you might be able to search for it through the bottom left on the windows thing but i don't know all right so when you open up a nvidia control panel it brings up this thing you're going to want to go to change resolution all right and then here's like where you can change the resolution now i'm pretty sure uh, the one I used in the video, which was this one, 1152 by 64 This one, I'm pretty sure, comes pre-programmed into your PC. So you can just select it. You can hit yes. But for you, when you hit apply, it may not show up as stretched yet. It may show up as like with black bars on the side. In order to fix that, you go uh, to adjust desktop size, and then you select full screen, alright? When you select full screen, it stretches out to the full screen, alright? <laughs> so select that, and bam. And then if, if this one doesn't show up for you or, or you just want to create a custom 4x3 resolution, I'll teach you how to do that at the end of, it, end of the video. So I'll have everything like time stamped in the description so you can skip to it. But next up is Intel. Alright, for Intel, you could uh, right click your desktop again and then it should say like maybe Intel right here. If it doesn't, that's fine. You could just search at the bottom left for Intel and then open the program which is called... Uh, Intel Graphics Command Center, all right? And then if it, for whatever reason, if that's not installed either, you can open up the Microsoft Store and just search for Intel, right? And you can download it, it's a free app, so yeah. You can download it here for, if you don't have it for whatever reason, right? So if you do have Intel, then what you can do is go to open it, go to display, and then I believe you can change your resolution. It should, it might be show up here, 1152 by 64. And if it doesn't, there should be a button right here. Actually, I'll pull it up for y'all. I have an image. There should be a button right here that says custom. And then here you can just input the custom resolution, right? Right, 1152 by 64 for if it doesn't show up in the drop down menu, right? But for me, 1152 by 64 does show up. So what you want, would want to do is click it. And then for go down to scale. And then hit... Uh, and then go to uh, click scale and then hit stretched. All right, because then that stretches it, right? So that's how you do that. And then I'll just explain the custom resolution. You could do a custom resolution here, but I'll just show you some at the end of the video, right? But yeah, you'll just input it here if you needed a, if you needed to type this one in, or if you needed a new one, right? And for AMD, let's go to AMD. For AMD, I don't have like an AMD uh, GPU or CPU to show y'all. 
So I found this on the AMD website. It seems very similar to the Intel one I just showed you. I'm just gonna read this article, right? You can just right click the desktop, click AMD Radiant Software, go to display, right? And then you can do a custom resolution or something like that. I don't know where, where does it say? It says custom resolutions right there, but also shows right here, this one, it says scaling mode. I'm pretty sure this is the one you want to change to a uh, stretched, just like this, just like the Intel one I just showed. All right. And I'm going to leave this article linked in, in the description in case you need, in case you need it. All right. <laughs> but I can't really show you it. I, I just do the same thing as the Intel one, basically. Right. Select the four by three resolution and then click stretch make the scaling mode to stretched or whatever it's called for AMD. All right, so for this last part, I'm gonna show you how to do a custom resolution, right? So the one on the computer already is 1152 by 864. I think it should be on a computer already. If it's not, then I have no idea. <laughs> but anyways, right? So oh, there's also this weird glitch on this NVIDIA thing where if you click a resolution, it grays out the customize button. In order to fix that, just go to the bottom right hit cancel all right and to create a custom resolution bam it's right there now it's not gray right all right so it opens up this menu and hit customize make sure this one's checked enable bam make sure that's checked and then hit create custom resolution all right here i'm gonna show you guys this website all right so i found it this thing right here it's called four by three calculator i'll link this one in the description too i guess but what you can do with it is very cool you could you can input a resolution and that and it'll make it four by three or like you know automatically calculate how to make it four by three so for 1080p if you have a 1080p monitor the maximum resolution is 1440 by 1080 right so i'm gonna put that in as a custom 1440 by 1080 144 hertz for my monitor it has that screen goes black it might show up in the recording as black but bam then it goes into like this and does it show it? Oh, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Wait, never mind. It went away, but let me... Right, because it shows up at the top right here as a custom resolution. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It looks pretty good, actually, for a 4x3 resolution. Maybe too good? I have no idea. <laughs> but if you have a, a... What do you call it? A 1440p monitor? You could also go for a... What was it? Uh-oh. I already forgot. Oh, no, it's this one. <laughs> If you, if you have a 1440p monitor, you could do a 1920 by 1440 and that's the biggest 4x3 you could get on that. Or you could like, there's also this list right here, popular 4x3 resolutions, you could try all of these, although I think some of these might already show up on like Windows. Right, let's see like, let's look up uh, 1024 by 768 Yeah, see look, it shows up here. So the, the, the common ones are already on your PC, but if you want to do like a really high custom one, like the one I just showed you, like the one I just showed you, 1440 by 1080, the one I'm using right now, then you have to do that as like custom resolution, all right? But I think that should uh, cover everything. I mean, let me let me pop on like a game of counter blocks just to like prove to you guys that like it's set four by three. All right, so this one's in the 1440 by 1080 resolution right now. Let's see, let's just like spectate people. But yeah, see look, it's in uh, wow, that's low. Yo, that hurt my ears. Okay, but yeah, as you can see, it's in 4x3. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty close to, like, HD, and even though it's in 4x3. So I like this one, but I, I still... I don't know. This is something for you guys to mess around. I mean, you guys can comment, like, your resolutions that you're using, but... I think I covered everything pretty well. If you guys have any questions, I'll leave them in the comments. I guess I'll try to reply to them, but... If it's something that I'm not... If it's something that's too hard to uh, help you on... I'll probably just ignore you. Sorry, bro. <laughs> I'm not going to be your tech support. But yeah. Oh, also, for some reason, if the game feels smoother. And I think I'm going to do my next video that comes out. is going to be uh, is going to be proving whether or not this gives you more FPS if you have a bad computer. All right. So you guys should stay tuned if you want to see that. I think that's all for this video. Hopefully, I didn't miss anything. I don't think I missed anything. Right. I just, basically, it's very basic steps. <laughs> If you get lost, again, like I said, just leave a comment and I'll see if I could help. If it's too hard, I'll, I'll just ignore you. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you leave a like. If you have any other like tutorials you want me to do, then yeah, leave a comment about that too. Go ahead. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.